In this episode, how to prepare your wedding ceremony, part one, with Daphne. Hi there, bridal couples to be. Welcome to How to Get Married in Holland. The ultimate wedding podcast of and about the Netherlands. We, wedding ceremony experts, aka celebrants Daphne and Jasperin, share all ins and outs of getting married in our flat and fabulous country. Enjoy listening. So today I'm going to talk to Daphne and ask her lots of things about how it is when you start working with her. So Daphne, tell me all about it. How does it work when a couple contacts you? The whole process, we want to know it all. From the very beginning. From the very beginning. Yeah. Well, how does it work? Well, we're going to work together. That is the bridal couple uh, and me. Uh, Because, yeah, I think the most important thing is next to the availability, of course, Mm -hmm. that we have a mutual connection with each other. So the first thing we're going to do is to have a discovery meeting or a discovery call, if you will, because I would love to invite a couple uh, in my home so they uh, can get to know me even better. Uh, But if it's more convenient, we can also uh, connect online, of course. Okay. And what happens during that call? Well, we just get to know each other uh, because, you know, I think it's very important to feel at ease with the person who is going to conduct their ceremony and and fulfill such a special moment in their lives. Mm -hmm. But also for me to get to know uh, who are they, uh, where did the two of them met, um, why do they choose to get married? What mm-hmm. do they have in mind? How, uh, yeah, paint me a picture of their perfect wedding, if there is such a thing, of course, but the, yeah. the wedding they dream of, at least. Yeah. So you get um, an idea of what they want as well. Yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. most important. Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah, of course. yeah. And then we can discover if we have a match, you know, mm-hmm. not only uh, on a personality level, but also on my wedding style and their wedding wishes, which I love to get to know. Uh, what do they want? What do they not want? For example, have there been two weddings and seen something? Oh, no, that's really not us. Or, oh, we really did like that certain thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so we really envision uh, what it's going to be like when mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I will be their wedding officiant. Mm-hmm. So you explore together. Yeah. Yeah, it's really and, a discovery and couple, meeting. Yes. And is, if a couple says, okay, Daphne, we feel you can conduct our, our wedding ceremony, what happens next? What's your next step? Well, sometimes they, they say so right in, in that conversation that we have such a vibe and they're so enthusiastic and, and, and me as well that we say, okay, let's do this together. We're mm-hmm. going to co-create your wedding ceremony. And sometimes they need to think about it a couple of days, discuss it amongst themselves, which is quite all right, of course. Uh, I do ask them to make a decision within a week because uh, I only have one opening uh, for each day mm-hmm. because I very deliberately choose to conduct only one ceremony a day to give my couples all my enthusiasm and focus and energy um, and when they do decide that I uh, am going to be their wedding officiant mm-hmm. we're going to start our preparations okay do you send them a, a price quotation then uh, no I don't no because I work with packages okay. so of course Each ceremony is bespoke and tailor-made, but there are so many options that I would like to make it a little bit more easy for my couples. So I've created several packages, which we're also going to discuss, of course, to see um, which package package is really suitable for them and aligns with their wedding wishes. Mm -hmm. So they know right up front what the costs are going to be. Uh, so that is very clear and in the open. And when they do decide uh, I'm going to be their wedding officiant, they also choose their package. And okay. then, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the business side of it all. I will send them an invoice of a deposit so I can lock in their wedding date. And you do that after they've 
confirmed that they want you as the wedding officiant. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like a mutual guarantee for them knowing I'm going to be their wedding officiant yeah. on that particular day. And for me to, uh, well, to know for certain that I can say no to other inquiries for the same date because I'm already booked. Sure, sure. Yeah. And then you start doing the, the fun part. Yeah, then the fun part starts. Well, the fun part, I always warn my couples because I don't tend to make it easy for them. Okay. Because I have quite a journalistic approach. Mm -hmm. So I, I do ask them a lot of questions, like 40-ish or so. Okay. And uh, they have to prepare because, of course, I can, you know, create a story about love in general, about marriage, about the venue. But mm -hmm. that's not interesting. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to make it a ceremony which could only be the ceremony of this particular couple. Right. So I do need their input. And how, how do you get the input? I send them a questionnaire. Uh, okay. both a mutual one as personal questionnaires so I can create multiple perspectives within the story mm -hmm. like a journalist really yes and if they would like me to I also send some questions to witnesses or parents or mm -hmm. very good friends or yeah people very close to them mm -hmm. and I uh, yeah I use all that input to prepare myself for our brainstorm session and then we're going to get together and well most of the times I'll come and visit the couple at their home to see them in their own environment. How, and how, long, them, how long before the wedding you, you plan a meeting like this? Hmm, depends on, on the timeline and, and whether we have several months or several weeks or, uh, well, not doesn't happen very often, but sometimes several days before their wedding. Okay. And, uh, but if we have time, I would like to meet like two months before their wedding date. Okay. Uh, so I have more than enough time to write their speech, of course. And yes. then we're going to brainstorm about how would they like to design all the several elements of their wedding ceremony, mm -hmm. because there are so many options. Mm -hmm. Sure. And, and so people come to your house. Um, no, I possible, visit them. I, guess. For the, oh, I visit to, them. Yeah. You go to their house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For the brainstorm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how long does a meetup like that take? Because you say I have so many questions. Um, I'm sure it's it's it takes some time. Yeah, like several hours, like uh, t two hours, two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. And if the bride or couple prefers um, to divided in two sessions is possible also. So at one session, we're going to brainstorm about all the elements of the ceremony mm -hmm. from the way they're going to make their entrance, you mm -hmm. know, the processional to the way we're going to conclude mm -hmm. uh, the ceremony, the recessional mm -hmm. and everything in between. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the session, uh, we're going to take a deep dive into their answers. And since I've already have uh, their information, I can ask even further about the details and the anecdotes and how did they feel and mm. uh, what happens next. Mm. So I get the yeah the most juicy things to to write a speech with. Yeah. Mm. So their their preparation, their homework, so to speak, mm -hmm. enables you to dive deeper into their lives during your meetup. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And that makes for that extra personal speech. Yes. So, you know, once at a wedding, uh, after a ceremony, uh, the witness, uh, uh, so it was, she was made of honor. Also, she came up to me and said, well, we are, me and my partner are best friends of the bridal couple. And we thought and we knew them quite well, but we got to know them even better. Yeah. And well, that was such a compliment because I didn't think, okay, then I can give something extra during That's the exactly what you want, right? Yeah, yeah. Not just mm -hmm. a history lesson mm -hmm. of their love story, mm -hmm. but more in-depth story, which mm -hmm. really touches their hearts also. Mm -hmm. So then when you had your um, talk, your meetup with them, you start writing? 
I try to write it in, in one go. I, I start by uh, putting their picture on my screen because I always mm -hmm. ask them for a picture. So I see their faces and mm -hmm. um, if they have a favorite song or they've selected several songs for the ceremony, of course, I, I put them in the playlist and I, uh, I put it on just to get in the, uh, yeah, the right writing mood, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, very often I, I'm, that's, that inspires me also reading about our answers and reminding our brainstorm session. Mm. Then I'm able to write it in one go. Uh, but I always have a video call with them a week before the wedding ceremony. Okay. To ask if anything has changed, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if so, so I can adjust my speech. Okay. And if they opt for personal vows. Yes, I was just going to ask you that. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I would love to receive them before the wedding because I don't want to steal their thunder. Exactly. You know, so yes. if there's anything to that is uh, double or yeah. overlapping each other. Yes. Uh, I can. It's more easy for me to adjust my speech than for them. Uh, yeah, creating their vows with all their hearts and souls and emotions poured out yeah. into it. They uh, have to be the stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so let the vows be the vows. Yes. And, um, okay. And if they want uh, want me to help them with it, of of mm -hmm. course I would love to. Yes. Um, but it's more easy for me to adjust my speech. Yeah. Okay. So so they provide you with the the text of their vows beforehand, and then yeah. one week before the wedding, you have a final check to see whether anything has changed. Yeah, yeah, and that's very important because at one wedding, oh, that was so horrible. I've I've talked about that, that this wasn't a, a joint family, and uh, they all very much were in love with their pet, which was mm -hmm. a hamster. <laughs> Is it also a hamster in English? I think yes. so. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he, he was called Hummy the Hamster. Okay. And I was sharing the story about how they enjoyed their new home, especially with a beautiful place, especially for Hummy the Hamster. And then the little girl started to cry. Oh, no uh, way. And as it seemed, uh, Hummy has a disease or, yeah, he died. He died. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, the day yeah. before the wedding day. Oh, yeah. So and it's they, very important that yeah. that you actually are are really up to date about those things that can be vital for a couple. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And luckily, I could improvise. Yes, and I could say something like that. Uh, Hemi went to the hamster heaven. Okay. Uh, okay. And he must uh, be there with a big smile uh, okay. since he was happy seeing them okay. so very happy. Okay. And luckily she calmed down and everything was all right. Yes. But yeah, that was a bit of a scare. Mm. Yeah, so very important that. On it the is. day itself, uh, how long before the wedding starts are you present at the wedding venue? Oh, at least an hour. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to be stressed out being stuck in traffic, mm -hmm. and I want, uh, yeah, to be quite relaxed and and to have all my prep work at the venue. You know, testing the mic, uh, seeing if everything is in order, just like we discussed for our uh, during our brainstorm, really, mm -hmm. and also to visit the the groom and the bride in person before we start the ceremony. Okay, to see how they're doing. Are they also quite relaxed or are they quite tensed? Mm -hmm. uh, I once had to help a bride who was hyperventilating because she was oh dear. so nervous. Yeah, yeah, it happens. It uh, happens. Yeah. And, and then, then also to speech. connect with the musicians and the photographer and yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. But then there's the speech. Yeah. Are you, yeah. Are you nervous before a speech? Um, no, not nervous. Uh, but I am very focused okay. um, uh, with a little tingling feeling mm. inside. Mm. So, okay, let's go, you know, yeah. more excited yeah. Um, and, and yeah, very alert, I think. Mm. So I'm very open with all of my senses, what's mm. happening in the room, mm. faces of people. I can, 
I'm very intuitive, so I also feel the atmosphere and, and the vibe of, 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 of uh, yeah, the whole group, of the, of the family and friends, the guests. Uh, and that helps me also to react to what's happening right there and then during okay. the ceremony. So yeah. I, I can also very much connect not only with the bridal couple, but also with their family and friends, which is very important, I think. Because very important. Yeah, we're there to celebrate the love of the bridal couple, yeah. the wedding couple, but also of the love they feel for their family and friends. Yeah. So um, it's all yeah. about the connection. It is. It mm. is. Yeah. Mm. And and if they're up for it, I do love some interaction. Mm. So I might ask a question to the bridal couple or to their guest. Mm. Um, questions to which I know the answer to. So if yes. they're looking at me like a deer in the headlights from, oh, I don't know, then I say, well, like you said earlier, and then I quote them right there yeah. on the spot. Yeah. So I make yeah. sure it yeah. keeps on going and flowing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's more like a, a, a gathering of, yeah, a feeling of togetherness. Yes. Rather than me being a stiff and formal efficient, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sharing a story and everything yeah. and everyone needs to be quiet. Yes, it has yeah. to be enjoyable. Yeah, a really lively ceremony. Mm. Bubbly, mm. someone <laughs> once mm. said, which I thought was be very festive, like champagne, right? Yes. So, yeah. Well, talking about champagne, what happens after the wedding ceremony? Do you leave straight away? How do you go about that? Well, I always recommend to my couples for them after the recessional to retreat in a separate room. Okay. You know, to, to have a moment for themselves, to really um, give each other a hug, a kiss, mm -hmm. uh, um, check your mascara mm -hmm. <laughs> if needed, uh, have a drink, go to the bathroom, whatever you need. Um, and then all of their guests can gather at a place for uh, to receive a class for the toast. Mm -hmm. And when everyone has a a class they can make their re-entrance okay um, and are you there then as well yeah i can i can announce or re-announce them as a newlyweds or okay. mr and mrs or mrs and mrs or mr and mr mm -hmm. of course mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh so within that that the short time frame of them retreating in a separate room uh of course i knock <laughs> for discretion um, but I see if if I can say my goodbyes to them. Mm -hmm. So after that, I can really leave them to their guests okay. and, uh, and a party. Yeah. And then yeah. I, uh, yeah. I go on my way back home. And um, yeah, after their honeymoon, um, if they go on a honeymoon, mm -hmm. we have a, a, another video call just to check in. How was it for you? Uh, okay. Did you enjoy the ceremony? Oh, that's nice. Uh, how was your wedding day? Mm. Uh, do they have some tips for me? Um, and uh, yeah, I do love to hear their feedback, of course. Yes. It's, uh, something I can learn uh, from. Yeah. And, uh, and, and well, most of my couples, they write a beautiful uh, testimonial or review for me. And mm. as, a, as a thank you, I create a text booklet for them. Okay. So, so they you share send them. The speech. The, yeah, the full speech. Yeah, yeah, it's fully written out. And they share some of their pictures with me. So I make a beautiful design and I mm. send it to them as a, as a mm. little present to enjoy from uh, from years on, really. So they can relive the moment. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Nice. So they're like they're married for 25 years. Or, for example, when they have an argument, they can read it again and say, oh, yeah, that's the story about our love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, I think that's very nice to uh, to wrap this interview up. Don't you think so? Because now know. they all know how it is to work with you and that the only thing that counts is the story of a couple's love and how you put that in words. Yeah, um, let's celebrate love. Let's celebrate love. I would say uh, speak to you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to How to Get Married in Holland. We look forward to share more about organizing your wedding day in the Netherlands in the next episode. Hit the subscribe button so you won't miss anything. Any questions in the meantime? Please ask wedding salons Daphne or Jasperin. You can find us, plus the show notes, on Instagram. 
And if you love this podcast, please leave a review. It gives us a higher ranking, so more fun international couples with Dutch wedding plans will be able to find us. Until Until next time. time.